Petrica Vidova versus Maria Sakkari. The second quarter final of the Ladies Indian Wells for 2023. And both players have had to fight to get to this stage. Sakkari entered the tournament as the number seven seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on the unseeded Rogers, who'd beaten some really big players at these events before. But this was no problem for Sakkari, and Sakkari would have to fight to get through in three, two, six, six, four, six, love. In the third round, she take on Kalanina, the 27 seed. And again, after dropping the first set, Sakkari would have to fight, eventually winning in three, three, six, six, two, six, Four. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 17th seed Plishkova, who had just beaten the 11th seed Kudamatova in the previous round. And again, Sakura would have to fight to get through this match in three, getting through 6 4, 5 7, 6 3. Kvitova started the tournament off as the number 15 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the wild card Mandlik, and after a tough second set, we'll get through in straights 6 1 7 5. In the third round, she'd play the 24th seed Ostapenko, and this is one of the strangest score lines you'll ever see. After losing the first set 6 love, coming back to win. Love 6, 6 love, 6 4. In the fourth round, she'd take on Pagula, the third seed, a player she had beaten earlier in the season. And after taking the first set, she would have to fight to the end, eventually prevailing in 3, 6 2, 3 6, 7 6 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two players have played seven times before, with Zachary leading 4 3 in their head to head and having won two of their past meetings in straight sets. If Kavitov is going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and try and push Zachary around. We know Zachary's got good defense, but she doesn't like to be pushed around around that much and P Petra and Petra is the bigger hitter in this matchup and use that big lefty serve as well to just get Sakri off the court. If Sakri's going to win this one, she needs to push Petra around. We know that Kvitova's movement is definitely an issue. If she stands inside the baseline, then Sakri's going to have a tough time. So she needs to start moving Kvitova around so that she can get the win. This is a very interesting matchup with two very big names coming into this one. Of course, Sakri is the defending finalist from last year. So I'm going to go with Sakri in this one to win in three sets. I think Sakri's had a very tough run so far, but she's physically fit enough to play another three-setter. So I reckon she's going to get the win, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.